This ape said I have not lent a single share of AMC. That means all shares I buy are for me, myself, F the lenders and the short sellers. So what this ape is talking about is that if you do, of course, hold on to a stock or ETF, you have the opportunity to lend it out to short sellers. And if you just like this ape don't want to lend out your shares to the shorts, contact your brokerage and make sure that you have that turned off. Not telling anyone to buy the stock they can't afford. But remember that to overwhelm the algos is going to take a lot of buying power. It's going to take a lot of buying pressure and holding of shares at that. Make it harder for the shorts, force them to naked short and spoof. That's expensive to keep resetting FTDs and spoofing. This is pretty crazy, this ape says, so hey, public JP Morgan Chase, do you care to explain this? When did AMC Entertainment turn into a crypto stock? So apparently, as of recently, across certain stock brokerages, it looks like for some weird reason, AMC Entertainment is being labeled as crypto. Now comment down below why you think this is happening and let us know if you have any more information on this as of now. This says it's all planned apes. The AMC stock price action is all planned to make us tired, disappointed and dissatisfied and lose hope. I no longer have a brain, so I completely forgotten about the ticker today. I'm buying when I can and holding every day. I will see you with the movies on Friday. Let's go. The ape says UBS's bags are getting heavy. And this is in regards to this tweet that says UBS freezing some withdrawals due to liquidity challenges. Now, this was seen on Twitter and more or less over the last few months. Pretty much ever since the whole banking crisis, we've been seeing different hedge funds, different banks going through some sort of troubles. Some of them were, some of them not as bad. But either way, there could be some serious troubles ahead. And the AMC apes have been predicting this all along. Ever since the whole Evergrande situation well over a year ago, I was down here talking about it. You guys were in the Reddit talking about it. You guys were on Twitter talking about it. We saw this whole thing coming from a mile away. And best of luck to everyone involved. This ape says when Moaz, and this is in regards to Bank of America, apparently unrealized losses on securities rose to $131.6 billion. So when it comes to all the fails to deliver, the shares not yet purchased, and all the numbers that are sort of just floating out there, a lot of apes think that there's going to be something that's going to crack in the market, and it's going to crack soon. This ape says whenever CEO Adam Merrim makes a massive tweet, my lights get removed over time. It's like they want to make it seem like he's not as big as he is. Like we aren't as big as we are, AMC. Now throughout the entire AMC journey since I became a part of this play, there's always been weird glitches going on, whether it's a glitch on a certain website where the data is wrong and it's said that it'd be a glitch, or even across social media, there's also been weird things going on. But when it comes to using Twitter, let's just say, using X, has anyone else particularly noticed that if you like, say, Adam Marin's tweets, the likes go away? Comment yes or no down below. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC Stock DD and information you need.